so me and a bunch of my friends will be teaming up to make our dream game. But first I had to get through the tedious task of installing Unity. <laughs> After struggling for a while and questioning my life choices, I finally managed to make it work. Now it was finally time to actually start learning Unity. I mean, I managed to learn Godot, how much harder can it actually be? Oh god. So, I did what every rational game dev would do and started reading the documentation. Just kidding. After watching those tutorials, now I knew what to do. Boom! Bean! Add a rigid body. Boom! Physics! Attach a script. Intense coding session. Oh f- Another intense coding session. Praying to God. All hail the holy bean! At this point, what a rational game developer would do is just to make some simple games like a platformer or an arcade game to just understand the engine better. So I'd go ahead and just do that. If I was weak, that is, I'll be making God of Red Dead Punk Oto 2, the sequel. But first, I had to actually make a character controller. So, delete the holy bean, add another bean. Attach a camera. Add a script. Add another script. Intense coding session. Praying to God and... Controls are inverted. Another intense coding session. Okay, it seems to be working fine yeah. now. Come on! While I was working on the character controller, my friend finished working on the arms of the player and some of the animations, so I added them to the game. So I went ahead and imported the assets to Unity, attached the arms to my player controller, and started working on the animations. Wait, what's this? Surprise? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> real funny dude. After conjuring some dark magic in the animator, and writing the most unoptimized animation controller scripts, we got to this. Some of the animations and transitions are looking a bit janky, but we'll be fixing them in time. Now I have to make the most important decision in this project. Should I keep the middle finger? After adding those animations, I learned a little bit about scriptable objects and UI in Unity. So I made a scriptable object for my items with some simple stuff like item name, amounts, item type, and stuff like that, and created prefabs for my item drops. I also learned about singletons in Unity, so I went ahead and created UI and inventory managers. Then I created a pretty simple UI for the inventory, and coded their scripts and attached them together. Now if you look at an item drop, for example this rock, if you're in range, you can pick it up. If you already have that item in your inventory, it adds one to its amount. But if you don't have that item, it occupies a new inventory slot. At this point, everything was going pretty smooth. Until it wasn't. Remember me and my friends making a game? Yeah, it's just me now. They said it's a lot of work to make these assets and animations, and it's just not worth it and nobody would actually play it, so they will be working on smaller projects. But rest assured, I won't give up! After parting ways with them, I removed the arms and animations of the character and focused working on the character controller. I followed these awesome tutorials on YouTube and polished my character controller. I added sprinting, crouching, sliding, and wall running. And yes, you can run on circular walls too. After that, I put together a parkour course and ran around mindlessly for about... At this point, I had to make a decision. You see, my initial game idea was to make a magical roguelike. At the beginning, you would start with nothing but your fists. As you defeated smaller enemies with your punches, you could absorb their mana. And mana would have different elements. 
For example, those enemies at the beginning would have normal mana and absorbing their mana would increase stuff like your HP, your punch attack, move speed and stuff like that. As you got stronger, you could visit other elements mana zones. And that's when the real fun would begin. As you absorbed elemental mana, if you reach a certain milestone, you would be able to wield that element. For example, if you absorb enough fire mana, you could shoot fireballs, make your hands into a flamethrower and stuff like that. And as you continued absorbing more mana of the same elements, if you reach certain milestones, it will unlock new abilities. Also, absorbing elemental mana would increase your elemental damage, and also it would increase your defense against that element. And the final goal would be to summon and defeat a boss with some broken element that you can't wield, for example darkness or void or something. I could keep working on that idea, but it would be a lot harder that now I don't have assets. But I could try putting something together with free assets on the internet. Or I could completely scratch the magic idea and use guns instead and make a Carlson clone basically. Let me know your thoughts on what should I do and also if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for more updates. Also sorry for not posting for a while because me and my two brain cells are struggling with exams at the moment.